Stop associating quality with effort, because more doesn't equal better. If it did, anyone could pick up a camera, put in an insane amount of effort and create a masterpiece. But they don't, because no matter how much effort you put in, it doesn't translate to quality. Trust me, if you go down this wormhole, you are going to be on an endless road of chasing perfection. Not everything that you hear is conducive to you as a beginner creator. So let's go through seven things that are ruining it for you. Number one is to stop associating quality with effort. The real goal is to get so good at your craft that everybody sees your low effort work as incredible high quality. Because to do something easily and get an incredible result is the real skill. It doesn't all boil down just to effort. That is the real goal. Number two is no purpose. Don't do what a lot of beginner creators do and just kind of head to the park and film some flowers, a few slow motion sun flares, piece it together with some music and post it. Honestly, no one cares about that, nor do they want to waste 30 seconds of their life seeing your, your flowers and <laughs> sun flares at the park. This is one thing, if you're heading to the park just because you want to practice something in particular, maybe you need to get a grasp on some of your camera settings and you just need to film a few things here and there to master something. But aside from that, you should rather be focusing on something that has purpose, something that is real. Would you like to get hired for the work that you are creating right now? No one's gonna hire you for shooting flowers in the park. It needs to be something that has some sort of purpose that you're actually filming. Practice on that, because the things that you practice shooting should translate into the things that you will actually shoot for real. Try to figure out how to create some feeling in the viewer when they watch your video. Use dialogue and music, voiceovers, even if it's just something like a travel video, still practice some elements of storytelling to make this thing make the viewer feel something, create something with purpose, evoke some sort of emotion in the person that's gonna be watching it. Number three is thinking that gear matters. I can shoot a video every single day. I can shoot a video today and I can edit it today and I can post it and I can do this over and over again, boom, boom, boom. If I'm doing it on a phone, if I'm doing it on an 8K RED camera, it doesn't matter. The gear, the tools that I have access to are irrelevant to you actually putting content out as a beginner. Creating content is not about gear. I can create a piece of content every single day on my phone, I can edit it, I can post it and get something out daily. Boom, 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 I can repeat that. There's other creators out there with 8K red cameras and all the toys and they just aren't creating anything. It's not the camera, it's the discipline, it's the ideas, it's the ability to push yourself to create something even when you don't feel like it and regardless of the gear that you have access to. Who do you think is going to win? The guy with a red camera that's gathering dust in his cupboard or the guy shooting on a Sony A6000 and creating something every single day over and over and over again? Who is going to come out on top in that situation? It's the, it's the guy with the shitty camera. Number four is always shooting at your widest aperture. Everybody's talking about how fast and how wide open their aperture can go on their latest prime lens. And while this does create a cinematic look with a shallow depth of field and that nice bokeh background, it's not suitable for every situation. Maintaining critical focus and ensuring all relevant elements in your shot are in focus may require a higher aperture. Maybe you're shooting something and you don't want the background to be completely blown out because you want to give the viewer a better idea of the scene that your subject is in. Maybe you want to see a little bit more of what's going on behind you and blowing it out completely might not be the best idea. Maybe you're getting a real close up of the eye and instead of just getting this eye in focus and the rest of the face and even the nose kind of out of focus, you set a slightly deeper aperture so that you can get a deeper depth of field and capture more things in focus in that shot in particular. Of course, shooting at a nice wide open aperture gets that creamy background, nice bokeh, shallow depth of field, which is often associated with the cinematic look. It doesn't mean that you should just set and forget leaving your lens in the widest aperture possible. Number five, only shoot golden hour. 
Golden Hour yields a beautiful results. Soft light, nice colors in the sky, and it's an awesome time to shoot some of your footage. But it doesn't mean it's the only time that you should be shooting your footage. Experiment with different times of day, different lighting scenarios. You can get some very interesting looks with harsh sunlight and contrasting shadows. Not to mention that in the real world, sometimes it's just not realistic to assume that we can only shoot for that half an hour window at sunrise or sunset. Sometimes there's just a lot more that we need to cover in one day and we can't limit ourselves to only be shooting in those prime times of lighting conditions. So experiment with other things. Don't limit yourself to golden hour alone. Some of my favorite shots are not shot in golden hour and it yields some really cool results with those nice bright colors where the sun's high, harsh shadows, and just using those lighting conditions to your advantage instead of avoiding them altogether. Number six is bad lens choices. Just shoot everything on the one lens on your gimbal, right? If you want to get a close up, move in for the close up. Want to get something wider, move further away and get a wider shot. The lenses you use have a significant impact on your image much more than just being close or wide. Things like distortion, compression, bokeh, just to name a few. Wide lenses are great for something like a landscape, but might distort things like a face, so going for something like a 50 would be more pleasing. Get to know which lens to use when. It's gonna go a long way in terms of getting the most awesome looking shots. Number seven is setting your expectations too high. We are exposed to a lot of content these days. A lot of really, really good content that a lot of really, really good content creators do an extremely good job at making it seem effortless kind of like the first subject we covered in this video. When you see a sick reel or YouTube video, you don't consider that the content creator who made that has most likely been creating content for years and years and years. You see this reel or YouTube video or whatever and you go, I'm gonna go shoot something like that. Yeah, that looks kind of easy. Didn't look like they were doing anything too insane. I'm gonna head out, create something similar to this of my own. But then of course, being a beginner, it doesn't work out that way. And inevitably you get discouraged because the thing you created is nowhere nearly as cool as that sick reel that you saw just earlier that day or whatever. Rather set realistic goals and understand that filmmaking is just like any other skill. It takes practice to get good at things. Even if it seems like it might be easy from the outside, that's not always the case when you throw yourself into that situation. Practice, repeat the process, and get good over years, and you will be able to create all of the sick content that you guys are exposed to online. It just doesn't happen like that. So set your expectations in a realistic way so that you don't get discouraged and feel like you suck at making videos where in reality, you just haven't been doing it for years and years. My cinematic love pack is linked in the top of the description. It's used to grade all of the footage you've seen in this, as well as this shot right now, and it's on discount. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have fun.